Via Oxania Mateo, Ilu Ilu City. Ilo Ilu City. Rabia Mateo. Congratulations. Next up, we have time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer, and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to. Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart felt beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Ula. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final... Good evening. Good evening, Casey. How are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> for everybody. Okay. <laughs> so I will ask you two questions. You're okay. able to choose a number backstage. After you uh, talk for 30 seconds, you will hear this. And then I will ask another question where you receive another 30 seconds. Okay. Clear? Yes. All right, here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. Okay, it's time for your second question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Iloilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Iloilo! 